guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines so we got quite a bit of stuff done in last episode we got this whole town built and i think we fixed a couple um traffic issues there are some still uh congestion over on this part it just it i think it's just going to be that way honestly if we're not using mods there's going to be traffic issues some things i can sort out some things it's just a little harder to and like if we were to bring a way down over here maybe they would be able to get from here or other places to there but chances are all the people coming from this area are still going to use this exit just because it's closer direct line to the highway so it is what it is and with bringing it on to this exit then we have another problem that we have to figure out and that's where all the, <laughs> the congestion from this one is going to go and it just it just is um we have a cargo terminal over here um which brings a lot of traffic but a lot of traffic's going this way as well and it depends on where the people are going if they're new arrivals things like that so maybe a lot of these people are moving into this town that we just built which it might be the case so it's quite possible that a lot of the traffic's going that way other possibilities is maybe they're just coming from the cargo terminal and driving all the way over here to get to one of the industry areas and that's quite possible too so kind of have to figure out where are all the traffic's going and figure out the routes and stuff I'm sure we can do that quite easily by um, selecting where the traffic's going. So we can select, what was it? Uh, not escape routes, I think it's this one. We can see where everyone's actually going. So there's a lot of people going this way. Uh, we got uh, some private city service vehicles. And it looks like they're going into the logging industry. So we could set up a toll on this route here and that might direct traffic a little bit out of the area, which could help. Um, it's not a guarantee that it will work, but it could be an option. And then that way, you know, they'll use the main arteries for the highway and stuff, which goes a little bit, um, goes this way and it goes a little bit over and over here. So. Uh, they might have a better area to get to that particular loader junction and then it shouldn't cause as much congestion and um, chances are they're actually doing it also because we do have a toll on this route so it's quite possible that's the reason uh, alternatively we could put a toll over here
eight. So I got um, this little area set up. Uh, I was going to put a forestry industry in here in this part, uh, some commercial, and the rest uh, high density residential. And that should give us a pretty good population for managing this area, I think. Uh, we might even want to set up a bus line between the two towns, um, maybe like a town bus line, something that can come through each um, town that we go through. I think there's going to be another town somewhere around here. We'll probably build up in this area. And yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing. I just need to zone this a little bit. And we'll call this, um, oh, I don't know, uh, hill side, uh, timber, co. Yeah, sure, we can call it co, because why not, timber co, uh, that would maybe make sense that maybe a company founded it or something like that hillside timber co and maybe it's it's not uncommon there was uh during the oh what was it uh i think ford and a lot of other places or some other country in the states i think they used boston or one of the places that down in the states a uh, city and they founded a city that um was specifically for industry and stuff. So it's not uncommon for it to, something like that to happen. And it happens all over the place in the world as well. So we do need to get water to these people though. Uh, preferably heat as well. And we'll see if we can't connect that up to down there uh, later. Uh, we'll just try to get all the lines hooked up to the roads. And... Then we'll bring that line down, I guess. Uh, what we can do is we can probably disable all that, and then we can follow the road a little bit easier. Just to kind of uh, keep it aligned, mostly. I know it's gonna cost us a lot to get it down there, but that's okay. That's more realistic anyways. So we'll bring it up to there. I'm not sure where that path goes. We might hook it up to... We'll just create a uh, line like that. And uh, bring that up like that. We should probably work on the stock exchange a little bit today too. We're in a little bit low on money. So I'm gonna...
So we might have a pretty high demand for a bus line over here. Um, people seem to be recalculating the routes and stuff. I'm not sure where these guys are going, but um, I got a route um, set up over to this line, which should bring people into this area a little bit easier. And then there's some other opportunities and stuff they can do over here. And then there is a line going up the hill, which brings them to this area. Now I'm almost debating to put a separate bus loop in right around here. Uh, that way we can kind of make it a little bit easier for them to get off and stuff. And then the bus doesn't have to keep going down that way. So we'll see if we can't. Um, go ahead and set up. Uh, let's see here. We'll go with that. We'll set that up like that. And then we can just drag the, um, the line directly onto there, I think. So we'll go to the bus line. Uh, oh, wait. No, we can just do the bus route. That's right. And we'll just drag that over here. And then we can set that to a normal road. And then that should help with um, people getting on and off, I think. Let's see how much people get on. Okay, we got 77. It should manage pretty well, I think, uh, for the bus line. It's an articulate um, bus, so it can fit like 80 people on it. And the next stop is over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start developing this area. We have large area up here that we can do and then some trees and stuff have to be removed down here probably do the cliff side as well and we'll decorate that with some rocks or something Might put a nat national park into. I think that would be pretty good for the bottom part here. And then we could have our town at the top. Yeah, we can definitely put a small na national park in there, I think. And we have a little bit of room over on this side, so I'm not sure what we can put in that side there. But we are pretty.
got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got two uh, towns built. So we got a bus line going from here. Um, this little area, which seems to be backlogged a little bit. We might want to add a few more um, people uh, or buses onto that line. And then we got a bus line uh, here, which this one just arrived. And yeah, it's running at capacity, uh, full capacity now. So we probably want to do something about that. But um, and then we got this settlement built. So basically, it's like a forestry industry area. I'm not sure what just happened there. I think it was the yeah. I don't know what happened. Um, sounded like something upgraded, but I can't see what it was. Um, yeah, so there's residential, commercial, and logging industry. Just a small bit of logging industry in that area right here. And then over here we have a national park. Um, not sure what to call, call it just yet. Uh, garbage pickup because we're running a little bit low on um, where we can basically reach out to that area. So I thought putting that in and then just some regular industry area uh, over on the back side here. And then we got a park, another bus loop. So a lot of people can get on and off here and then our national parks over here. So it's, it's a nice little town up on the hill there and it, it's got really nice view of pretty much the entire city. So yeah, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. We still got tons of little areas to build around here. So we're going to be busy for the next couple episodes until we get that, um, uh, until we, uh, get those little parts built and then I think we'll be at the end of the season by the time we're finished that so if you're new to my channel again don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out